I think it's imperative that we take time out to think about how churches like Bethel create a space in which worship music takes the place of actual worship and therefore becomes a stumbling block to truth. Years ago on my previous YouTube channel, I uploaded a documentary titled Unbiblical Worship Music. You know, it was amazing and it had speakers like Paul Washer, Vody Bacham, Scott Brown, Doug Phillips, Conrad and Bedway, just to name a few. It was about 40 minutes long and it's been such an amazing tool in this area of music. It's important that we get this right because worship music is important. In regards to professing Christians, the worship music you listen to reveals what you worship. The worship music false Christians listen to is vastly different than that of the music true Christians glory in. Now, I want to go ahead and play a couple clips from Paul Washer speaking about this area of worship and music. We are a people who are strong in the arm of the flesh. We are the people who are always looking and desiring to figure out a new way to do something. And, and that has affected our evangelism, it's affected our church life, but it's affected our worship. How do we make people evangelize? How do we make people come to church? How do we make people worship? There's only one way. They must be regenerate, they must be filled with the Holy Spirit, and they must be growing in maturity. If you're going to throw that reality out, then you're going to have to come in with a new invention to prop the whole thing up. And I think that worship today has been influenced more than any other thing by our culture. I'll give you an example. I have uh, been in recent, the last two years, with a group of young people you could not find a more dedicated group of young people, more desirous of studying Christ, knowing the gospel. They're sincere, they're converted, and they love the Lord. But they come out of contemporary evangelicalism. And even though they love the Lord, they'll fast, they'll pray. When we're in our worship service, you see that they really don't sing with great zeal. Uh, they don't put forth a joyful noise. They don't shout unto the Lord in song. And I've, I've tried to figure out that, you know, why is that going on? And um, it's not because they don't love the Lord. It's because they've been raised in a Christianity where it has a music director, a music band, a worship team that does almost everything combined with that and the culture of entertainment, they've been taught to come into church and watch other people do their worship for them. And in most worship services today, in modern day evangelicalism, if you were all of a sudden in the middle of a song to pull the plug on all the instrumentation, all the microphones and everything, you would find that the congregation is hardly singing. Even when the congregation is filled with people who love the Lord, because we've almost trained them to watch. And that is one of the greatest problems in evangelicalism today.